What is it? What is administration? Well, my Quran done. Hey, sir. How can Art we trust him? Art Tanbon and Mar Maria Bautista, and then Simon Polakowski. Thanks, Tom. Mr. Tannenbaum is next, and then Maria Bautista, uh, followed by Simon, Simon Polakowski, and then Kristen Conley. Mr. Chairman, members of the council, you're wasting my time. I've been paying attention to your meetings. It's a waste of time. Uh, I would like to mention a lot of the positive things, uh, but I'm only allotted two minutes, just like all of the other members of the public. Yes, you city councilors have done some good things, uh, as Council Bennett pointed out, but you're, you're doing this great at congratulating yourselves. Uh, Rather frequent when you say, hey, so such and such public servant did a good job on this. In addition to the compensation of finances and benefits, uh, powerful and influential prestige, we don't need that. It's a waste of time. I came down here to talk about the United States Department of Justice, City of Albuquerque, policing reforms. It's not the police department. It goes well beyond the police department. It's a larger system of rewards. It's the mayor's office and the entire city government for which you are the legislative authority. The system of rewards was exemplified by the blame game when the chief of police uh, pointed the finger to dispatching. And you, city councilors, keep throwing more money at it. You're rewarding poor performance. I'm not sure why. Probably because you can say, well, we did everything we possibly could with our money, uh, the <coughs> taxpayers. Anyhow, I'd like to thank Councillor Pat Davis, uh, representing District 6, where I reside, for doing a good job of asking some questions. You city councillors need to get answers to your simple yes or no questions. Liars figure and figures lie. When Councillor Gibson asked for the number of dispatchers, it was a convoluted equation instead of a simple answer. And that's just an example. Thanks, Ms. Taylor. Mm -hmm. Time is up. Thanks for coming. <coughs> so about Maria Bautista is next, and then Simon Polakowski and Kristen Conley. Maria Bautista. I'm here today to say you didn't listen to your constituents. So today at 1.39 we filed a complaint and application for a preliminary injunction to stop the art project. If you haven't been served yet, you'll be served tomorrow morning. The city of Albuquerque, Richard Berry, Robert Perry, Bruce Brizieri, Michael Reardon, Albuquerque City Council, the United States Department of Transportation, the Federal Transportation Administration, and our regional trans, uh, a Federal Transport Administration for District 6. We've sued everybody, inclusive of our city council. I'm sorry, Clarissa, and I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis, because you were our only no vote. I'd like to say to you tonight that we have the money, and we're going forward, 
because we feel that you've cheated the residents out of an opportunity to take part in a very important project for the city of Albuquerque. Our accounts are the violation of the National Historic Preservation Act, and we can prove it. Another count is count two, a public nuisance created in all neighborhoods by all concerts with your failure to act on behalf of your constituents, the division of the community right up the middle, and furthermore, I would like to say that count three is the legal condemnation and taking of property by the city on in behalf of businesses that you expect are to follow. Uh, that won't happen. I'd like to say to you that uh, the next uh, count is malfeasance and misfeasance because you've expected and expended money without proper approval or authority and the money has not been allocated. I'd like to say to you that it would be welcome to see you in court as we file depositions for all of your documents, your minutes, and every uh, comment that you've had regarding this. Jessica, you're hearing me loud and clear because you know what I'm saying, like production of documents to the max. Uh, thank you very much. Lachowski, then Kristen Conley, and Jack. Mr. Polikowski. We actually did it. We filed the injunction. Are you for it? Yeah. <laughs> And we're watching this on TV tonight. Oh, so. Thank you. <coughs> council, council President and Council, uh, I hear uh, sure. I represent all of us myself. I speak only myself. Many of the people that come up here, I believe actually all of them, come here to try to improve things uh, with suggestions, and they find it very disturbing that they're only allowed two minutes. Uh, we used to have a public access channel which allowed people uh, an hour program a week to uh, voice whatever it is they felt was very important to them in their lives. And I'm sure if we had such a public access channel, uh, which was managed by such a company before, uh, many of these people uh, would not come here and waste uh, your time, and especially their time. And they would be able to, if they had a chance to uh, discuss what council does and does not discuss, I think they'd be much happier. Uh, actually, I, 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 people come up and talk about open space. I was once invited uh, by a friend to uh, attend a meeting of an open space task force 30 years ago. I found it to be very interesting. Uh, people talk about Israel. I was in Israel many, many years ago. Uh, I'd like to say things about that, but you know, two minutes is just not enough for people to come to uh, get what they need to get across the general public. If we had a real public access station, an uh, average person, unprofessional, amateur, just uh, ordinary citizen could actually go and voice what they really feel is important, uh, you would uh, find the council would probably move a lot smoother. But unfortunately, this administration and its uh, allies on the city council uh, destroyed that, eviscerated it. And people ask where the mayor's at, the mayor is just a prop. If the mayor had to speak for himself as you know, the CAO or the uh, city attorney, he'd tie his tongue so bad he'd have to hire a real oral surgeon to tie it. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Kristen uh, Conley, Jeff Cash, and Jennifer, Jennifer Brazil. Thank you. So Kristen Conley here. Kristen Conley's not here, so this is Jack Cash. Mr. Cash, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, members of the council, for hearing me tonight. Um, the purpose of uh, me speaking is I just simply wanted to uh, um, put my support behind the uh, changes to Angel's Law. Um, back Mr. Cash, thanks for waiting and taking the time to come down tonight. I mean, I hope you're doing, hope you're doing well and recovering, you know, from that attack to I mean, the incident that you described that happened last year is one of the reasons why I'm very supportive of this. Um, of this change the law and uh, because I wish we would have had the ability last year to be able to move those dogs. So thanks for coming down. We, we appreciate that. Uh, next is uh, Jennifer Brazil and then uh, Joanne. I'm not sure that last name, I'll figure it out in a moment. Thank you. Here. Uh, so the last speaker is uh, Mr. Allen. Good evening, Mr. President, members of 
That's it. I had thought it was too late to be shocked by ABD, but I was wrong. This weekend I saw online Chief Eden's commendation letter to Lieutenant Brackle. The letter was issued exactly one week after Lieutenant Brackle emptied his gun into Officer Jacob Graham. What in the world? Could APD be doing the thinking? What can you do about it? Councilor Gibson's proposal concerning stopping increases in pay and incentives for APD grants is a step in the right direction, but not a big enough step. Barry, Perry, and Eden brought us the hiring of Huntsman, Gontraman, and Montano, promising that this would lead us to reform. We see the results. I propose you put into the budget a $3 million total payout to these six officials in exchange for their immediate resignations. At the current going rate, that's about half a lawsuit. And it will be money much better spent. I'm being a little flip, but just a little. You have in your hands the budget, which is basically <laughs> your only tool to pressure the administration. Please think outside the box. Nothing will change until the administration feels the pain it inflicts upon the rest of us. And the only time you have the real power to do something about the administration is now before you pass the budget. Thank you. That concludes public comment. We go to item 10 on the agenda, which are announcements. Councilor Davis.